a good looking. What you got cooking? Da, 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 and me. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm sorry. Hello, Aries. This is. Oh my god. It's like being fucking 13 all over again. Shit. So, welcome, Aries. We are doing your reading for the rest of July to the 1st of August of this fucking year. How are y'all doing today? I hope you're doing absolutely well. I don't remember what the hell we talked about last time. I could go back and look. But, well, yeah, I probably should. Actually, yeah, give me two seconds. Okay, sorry about that. I had to get my coffee. Okay, so. Beep, 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 beep. So last time we tuned in, you were kind of fucked. Um, not too terribly bad, though. Nothing you can't get yourself out of, I don't reckon. Just disregard that for security purposes. Um. Oh, well, I can tell you right now, your home life is pretty um abundant. So that's a good start for you right there. You got a nice abundant home, or is that what you're hoping for? Or is that how you're feeling in your home right now? You just feel like you need the abundance, the family affair shit, or whatever. Um, accepting that you don't have to like each other to be a family, but God, smothering somebody with their pillow sounds so nice, you know. Little things that are, that bring, that romance brings after so long, you know. Because that's usually how, like, romance is. It's like, ugh. Like, well, it's just like, you know, like, I love you. And I can't kill you because I miss you way too much. You know, like, I get on my husband's nerves so much, and he gets on mine, but I could pick somebody else to get on my nerves more than that man. He does it just right. <laughs> uh, I love him. I really do. Okay, so, but yeah, it seemed like you guys were dealing with some craziness right there. Because I told you to prepare for turbulence. So, we're going to see... What's going on with y'all that's making you jumpy, that's making you sit here and ponder? Did I fuck it up? Like, I feel like that's a little bit of what you guys are feeling, if that makes sense? I don't know. I've been pretty lightheaded today myself, so. Oh, whammies. Okay, we ready, Aries? We ready. Here is your reading for July of this current fucking year. Oh, someone's being a little bit exaggerant with their uh, mentality. You feel like you're going a little too far? Do you feel like your brain is just running at 100 miles an hour? You're going to be like Piccolo and DBZ Bridge like, I can do it! I can win! I... God, yeah! And then like, you know, Nails just pops in and just be like, What up, you nigga? You know, like, are, are, you, are you kidding kind of like that? Because that's how I kind of see it. Like, you're ready to go. You are ready to go, and you're ready to go a little bit too hard. Especially when you think you're talking to yourself. Uh, what you want is the ability to make a decision. Your fear, too many options, or too many desires at the same time to the point where you can't make a choice. Mind you, there's a serpent and a snake in there, and some, like, I think that's the fucking... The puppet, the, um, marionette from, like, Five Nights at Freddy's just hiding under his blanket, ready to strike, because he didn't wind his music box. For anyone who knows that reference, congratulations. For anyone who's my age, yes, I know it's ridiculous, but it's whatever. Um, what you want is to be offered something of value, something that is important to you. You want an offering. And you're going hard for that offering with this Knight of Swords right above it. Um, what's going against you is there's something back there behind that sun that you don't want getting exposed to the light. There's something in the dark. There's something back there. And you're wanting a decision dealing with that with the two of wands above it. Final outcome is the future. Renewed joy. Something to come, I think. And the beginning theme is the moon. Instincts. Knowing shit. Right? Feeling the hidden. Um, being aware. 
Like, you're being really, um, with this Knight of Swords reverse, you're being really exaggerated when it comes to, um, fighting. And I, and I do say fighting because he's got a sword out. He's about ready to go do some shit, right? I feel like you're fighting way too hard against this Sun Reverse here, his secret. And that secret, um... <clears throat> Is giving weight. I, I, I feel like that's why you can't make a choice because there's too many. And. Mon âge toi. S'il vous plaît. There a third wheel going on somewhere? Is that why. Is that the secret? Is, is, is that what's behind the sun? Ah. Naughty, naughty thing, yeah, Aries. Not that I blame you, because you all are the first, and you all will do shit before you even think about it. You just do it. You just, you just go. That's what you do, but... Oh, my. Naughty. So, anyway... Sorry, I figured I would lighten that up a little bit, and it just got creepy, so I won't do that again. But still, it's like, woohoo! Is that what's behind the sun... Queen of Pentacles reversed, and Earthy Woman, possibly Taurus, uh, Capricorn, Virgo, possibly a woman who is very much like me, 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 get me shit, bitch. She's kind of evil. She doesn't care about anybody around her. She expects to be given things and might even be dependent somewhere along the way on you or some shit. Is she starting something? Does she know it's behind the sun? Is she what's behind the sun? Is she who you're with behind the sun? And someone's being very, um... I, like, someone being demanding and needy? That's a really good question. Like, expecting more than what they should from you? got this future going on like this knight of pentacles is offering you something and there's a decision to be made you want to make a decision or you want a decision to be made with this offering and i feel like that decision will help you figure out your future which is weird because like most aries don't really think that far ahead you know you guys really don't worry about the future you just live one day at a time so it's kind of like what about the future are you worried about Like, you know something, because the moon's there. No whammies. Alright, let us clarify. We have the High Priestess being really exuberant about a fucking secret. You're fighting really hard against the secret, which leads to what's behind the sun. Please tell me you're going to let me know what's behind the sun, because I am such a drama or like I don't want to be involved in drama, right? I just want to know 99% of the information that's fucking going down. That's all I want to know. I just want to know... Who CC is going to beat next? You know, I just want to know what that bitch is going to do. Is she actually going to take her nails off and her hair extensions out this time? Or is she just going to grease her face up and take her shoes off? I just want to know. I just want to know. I want someone to record it so I can watch it privately later. So I can feed my vicarious lust for human destruction. That was too dark. I'm sorry. I'm a cap. It doesn't matter. It'll bring me back to where it needs to go. So, I'm gonna need you to slightly unfuck me. Like, I wouldn't have done it if it wasn't for a good reason. So, maybe this will benefit you out more. Maybe I can get some more information off of you. I didn't mean to shuffle. Um, it just happened. So, maybe this, maybe this is a good thing. Maybe this will help you out a little more with whatever it is your problems are. Because maybe it'll bring out some more. I didn't always do that with the high priestess. Um, so. You want to make a decision about this third wheel situation? Uh, swear to God, every time one of these fuckers fall out, like, it always comes back up. <laughs> um, 
There are too many choices because someone was really arrogant and impotent and thought they could get away with, like, exchanging one thing for another or thinking that no one would notice that something was switched, stuffed out, um, or placed without knowing. Mm. Mm-mm. Nigga, we got someone winning the upper hand. Um, this Knight of Pentacles is offering you something that'll that he's either telling you that you're on top of the fight, or he's offering you something that'll give you the ability to fight off whatever. It's going against you. Delays in messages, movements, talking, action, all that shit. Um. What's hiding behind the sun is that somebody is not. Anything. Page of Pentacles. Somebody who is apt at learning, abilities to um, gather information, knowledge, and possibly want to distribute it back out. You know, they're, they're capable of like taking what they have and trying to manifest with it. Um, they are a student. They are attempting to learn, and they want to learn. The ending theme is everything you want and more. And everything you want and more lays under this hidden message, this error, this information that is not presented and I feel like that's what this is and like I feel like you're fighting too hard over this high priestess with this knight of swords right you're being way too much you're being a little bit too extra just a little bit like the bougie is seeping out your pores right and like you want a decision about this three way position or this third party third wheel third wheel situation, third party, um, could be an affair, you could be the one having an affair, everyone here could just be, like, screwing around and, like, the loyalty lines are being blurred, what you're afraid is, is that, like, the op, all these options and desire is really, I feel, I feel like you're being a little bit too arrogant, When I think you are being tad bit too hard headed in believing that, um, because of the star, that you don't have any options, or your options are and your desires, like, you can't choose it or about them. Like, I feel like you're being. Too strongly opinioned in this whole I, I I can't do anything about the situation after this. Like my choices are locked. I feel like you feel like something happened where like you got really arrogant or somebody got really arrogant about something being switched out, and I guess that person must have thought, oh, no whammies, and then it, it no, not even double whammies, triple whammies. Triple. And I guess they thought that, like, because of that thievery, like, I mean, the wheel's turning, so nobody's stuck. Everything's going the way it's supposed to. Oh. Uh, a little bit of manipulation? Someone being manipulative, being a fucking crook in this situation when it comes to the secret, being offered an ability to win. Or someone being manipulative to you. Like, you know, um, looking back at all the chaos he caused and like... You scratched your bowl out and spilled it all over the floor, didn't you? Fat bastard. This is my fat cat. He's just... With his bowl of water. 
He's too heavy for me to pick up and put in my lap, and he'll cut circulation off to my leg, or else I'd have him up here. And I'd show him off, because he's my baby. He's half Maine Coon, so he's freaking huge. He's like, literally sits like this. Pick him up, he'll be literally like this in my arms. I can stretch him out that far. That's... He's so old, though. He's like... Six years old I've had him. It's my baby. I'm gonna be dead soon. I'm gonna be sad. If he lives to 20 years, I'll be fucking stoked. But then, like, I'll feel bad because he's super fat. And he's already having problems walking around. I honestly want sh I, I should just let my husband shave him like a stegosaurus, really. Okay, so, like... Then we got this Knight of Wands. Who's... He's either delivering a delay of the message about what's going on with the sun. <clears throat> Because apparently there's some sort of decision isn't going to be made. Somebody's taking the blindfold off and seeing the options, right? Which is like pointing to, like, fighting this shit off by being manipulative or going towards the future. Whatever card shows up, I guess that's the other part of the decision for you, isn't it? Because um, that's what this card will be pointing to. Now, to keep being manipulative. And I feel like... Okay, I feel like with this right here, maybe you're trying to learn to move on. Or trying to get with renewed hope of the future and you're just taking your time to learn how to do that again. That, that would make a little bit more sense. Maybe you feel... But I don't know. Like, but you could choose to be manipulative and fight people over this fucking secret or... Or maybe you don't have any choice because you've been so arrogant with the star. Is that it? You thought you wouldn't get caught with your desires? Your lust? Your projects? What you've been doing in the background? Is that why there's a three-way? Oh my god. Or you just keep contradicting yourself and fighting. Because <laughs> there's a lot of contradictions and fighting going on here. Especially with the wands. Because like... If it was reversed, it'd be like, oh, this isn't real fighting, this is just for show. But, like, this is genuinely, like, someone's pissed. I feel like. Someone's really pissed. Um, you get what you give, so... If you're dealing with this Aries, like, holy fuck. Um, if someone's doing this to you, you need to call them the fuck out. If you're doing this, what are you doing? <laughs> like, I feel like someone really needs to call be called out over this bullshit. Especially with this, um... Five of Swords, this manipulation, because whoever is manipulating this the whole thing is like, they're really not making, you're really not looking at their options. Because honestly, to me, I feel like the manipulation of what is what's going to help them or what will hinder them when it comes to this offering of um, being on top of all this fighting. When it comes to making a decision about this third wheel situation with this three of cups reverse and then moving on to the future and learning from it that's what i feel like that's for or you could keep fighting this fucking secret and not make a decision about the sun and not really get the message that you're wanting to get and just end up looking over at all this shit you've done in the dark and realizing I really don't have a choice in this and I'm, I've been kind of arrogant about it. And all that's going to do is cause way more fighting than what's necessary. And. Okay, so I don't really tell people this very often, but. um, I think this is probably. Either what you did. Or whoever did it, not necessarily you, Aries. Um, but whoever's doing this emotional manipulation, normally I wouldn't give this, this sort of advice, but I feel like you actually need to be in order to win. I, I really feel like it. Like, I, I think you started out that way. And I think that you are winning. But I, I, like in the weirdest sense ever i think that you need to keep being that way i can't explain it like whoever is doing that i think they still need to do that because i don't think that there's something that um they're getting just yet i think that there's still a bunch of um other stuff that needs to be done so now you can move on 
or you can work on it. Those are your options, as far as my cards say. Those are your two options. You can move the fuck on and get over it, or you can stay and work on shit. It's up to you. You have a good day, Aries. I hope this helped y'all out. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.